grading citation. This is notorious. And if you haven't realized, the very bad fox is going to read you a poem. This one's entitled, I just hit my keyboard. Um, what lies lie behind the veil is what this is titled. I hit my keyboard is what I just did. Um, the picture you're looking at was done by Celestia Knight. I actually had to look to make sure I had his permission to do this, do this and everything which I do, so yay. You can look at this awesome work. It is awesome. Look at it. Subscribe. Go to DA. I know it's falling apart. People come on now. Support to artists that are trying to make the artists look good. So, um, I like this one because it kind of gave a serene mindset of royalty. It's kind of like the poem I did with Zelda. Um, Fear Who's Only Friend. She Who's Fear Is Only Friend, something like that, but... I can't, I know, I can't remember my own poems. I'm the derp. It's forever ago. But I like this artwork because the monotones actually, there's, when you have a artwork and everything and it's black and white or grayscale, there has to be a meaning behind it. There has to be, I don't want to sound like a prestigious dick waffle, but normally there has to be a reason for it. There has to be a reason for the gray tone. And that'd be a finished product. And the gray tone pretty much holds this sorrow behind it, holds this vast emptiness of hurt, of knowing what you're doing and knowing you are simply just a role figure. Also, the way the, I saw the lights and everything. They still, the the most the shiny bits as I'll call them now, they still illuminate the body, which shows almost a glow. But you still the main capture is the gray tone that is illuminated by all the lights and the prettiness. So I really did like this pick. I really did like how they how Celestia did it, and I'm really glad they went with the gray tone aspect because that does bring it to life and brings that more of that sorrowful mindset other than just the expression itself because there are lots of colors in the rainbow sons and girls but there's a reason why you choose black white and gray you don't pick you don't you don't just pick them because they're there there's a reason why you pick every color every color has a purpose and that's just not a now you know speech or anything that's just the damn truth so well, I think the first thing I do, this is notorious. Well, let's play some airdrops. Oh, yeah, this is a vanilla. A vanilla. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the word. Leave me alone, teacher. Um, so, again, he's on breaking. <clears throat> what lies lie behind the veil of one's eternity that burdened thee with the weight of everything and anything that one may happen to see? I saw her, a heavenly beacon, a saddened beauty, waltzing perfectly along the city nights, who sing what lies lie behind the veil of one's eternity, who dresses the masses in their solemn glory, telling those before me where she got that ring and anything that one may happen to see. Upon her person I felt sorrow and true pity for the lonely light that bloomed wanting what lies lied behind the veil of one's eternity. A being who sees the fabricated well of reality, her stature, a puppet tangled in the strings of anything that one just could not see. For to rule is to be ruled by those words that be those lies that lie behind the veil of her eternity and anything that she wished never to see. Get off my gangster! Fuck yeah! I'm sorry! Hyped! <laughs> Too good, son! Too good! <clears throat> Well, this was notorious. Guys, when I do a poem first take, y'all know because I get hyped as fuck. So, end game match. Deuces. Thank <laughs> you.